this is Mato. In this video I will show you the game between Božidar Ivanović and Rudolf Osterman. This game was played in Yugoslavia in 1979. Božidar Ivanović had white pieces and he started with e4. Osterman played e5. f4. King's gambit. And Osterman played knight to f6. Generally, this move didn't score well for black. The most played move in this position is pawn takes pawn. King's gambit accepted. And d5 is perhaps the best move against King's gambit. In now game we have a knight to f6. Pawn takes pawn on e5, attacking the knight. Knight takes pawn on e4. And now knight to f3. If something else like d4, then queen to h4 check is extremely annoying. So we have knight to f3 preventing queen to h4. d5, d3 attacking the knight, knight to c5, d4, knight comes back to e4, bishop to d3. This reminds me of a pattern of defense. Bishop to e7. Božidar Ivanović castled kingside. c5. What now? c3 or c4? Ivanović played c4. c takes on d4. c takes on d5. Queen takes on d5. Queen to c2 threatening. Bishop takes knight. Knight to c5 attacking the bishop. Bishop to c4 attacking the queen. d3. Queen to c3. Queen to d8. Knight to g5. Attacking the pawn. On f7. Black to move. What is the best move for black? Bishop takes knight. Knight to e6 is the best move. This is the move played in the game. If bishop takes on g5, then bishop takes on f7 is winning. For white. Hmm? Okay, so we have knight to e6. Knight takes pawn on f7. Forking the rook and the queen. Queen to b6 check. King to h1. This is a very interesting moment. Black to move. How should black continue? Rook to f8 or castling king side? Rook to f8 would be better. But Osterman castled king side. Bishop takes pawn on d3. Queen to d4. Black wants to exchange queens to make the life for his king easier. Queen to c2, threatening bishop takes on h7. Queen to h4. White to move. This must be the most interesting moment of the game. Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Did you pause? Please pause. White played the move and black resigned. Unbelievable. The move is Bishop to H6. Black resigned. I will show you three possible continuations. Of course, there are more continuations, but black is losing in all of them. One defense goes like this. Rook takes on f7. Then queen takes bishop check. Knight to d8. Bishop to c4. Pinning the rook. Pawn takes bishop. Bishop takes rook. King to g7. Knight to c3. Knight takes on f7. Queen takes pawn on b7. Winning for white. What else? If pawn takes bishop, then bishop takes 
on h7 check and after king to g7 queen to g6 check mate and one more if g6 is played then bishop takes on g6 pawn takes and then queen takes on g6 check and checkmate let's go back to this most interesting position of the game did you see this brilliant move bishop to h6 cutting communications between black queen and the pawn on h7 and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your walking content. Bye for now.